Piping Plumbers are our flyers, like Frontier. One interesting story that we have, the oldest plumber on record in the Great Lakes would, lived to be 16 years. And in his lifetime, he would fly from the um, Great Lakes area actually down to South Carolina where he wintered. And he did this um, twice a year for his lifetime, which amounts to about the circumference of the earth, 25,000 miles. This is a bird that weighs about the same as a half a stick of butter, but he survived. Amazing flight capabilities, which is typical of most birds. Um, but I think it's, it's a great, you know, example of, of another form of flying. Uh, receiving the news that plovers were going to be on the tail of Frontier, uh, a Frontier jet was, was really exciting and um, an honor uh, for the time that I've invested over the years into, into plover recovery. Um, more than that, it really recognizes the effort of so many individuals across the country who work on piping plover recovery in North America and um, have put in you know thousands of hours on on this effort. Um, and I think it's really exciting form of public education. Um, and it speaks to um, the goals and ethics of Frontier Frontier Airlines. And um, I think, you know, I, I feel very excited that they are now um, part of our recovery effort. Thanks for the opportunity to um, share my experiences and thoughts about piping plumbers and the recovery. And I'm looking forward to having a flight on Francie the piping plumber at some point. And um, I hope um, all of you have an opportunity to fly Frontier. And when you're out there, be checking out the tails um, to see the uh, see if you're on a piping plover flight or another endangered species.